Uh, I became a CFI to really give back uh, to people in aviation. So I had a bunch of help and a lot of great mentors that I've had over the past couple of years and still have contact with. And it's been awesome to really learn a lot from them and I want to pass on my information to my students. And really it's beneficial to me too because I love being able to see my students succeed and watching people fly for the first time solo or taking them up for the first time in a plane and having them fly the whole time. It's, there's nothing like it. It brings a lot of joy to me to be able to see people enjoy it and having a good time. And it's awesome to be able to see that. So I love what I do and that's why I became an instructor. My responsibility as an instructor really is to be here for safety and to, and to establish safety conscious pilots and to teach them what that means. So with being a pilot, it's all about risk management and understanding how to mitigate and understand what's going on with risk. And so that's a big thing that we teach. And then we bring in to really question everything that you're seeing. So does something make sense when you're flying the plane or when you're pre-flighting the aircraft? Um, is that supposed to be there? Is it supposed to look like that? That's what we're really trying to instill as well. It's to make sure that students are safety conscious and they're proficient in their craft. Um, and those are the big things of being an instructor. We're here to teach students so that they can succeed and be safe in their career as an aviation uh, professional or um, be in it for fun. And another thing that goes along with that is to be able to teach them to have fun and make the learning process enjoyable because people learn a lot better when they're enjoying what they're doing. So we're here to make it fun when we can and instructional as much as possible. Um, and that's the goal for people to be able to continuously take uh, information away from what we do. So really to become a flight instructor, it takes a lot of dedication and hard work uh, on your own and to have really a great support group and system for you. Um, for me, it took around five or six months just to get my instructor certificate, not to mention all the other licenses and ratings that I got previously. Um, from the time I first started flying to about now, it's been about four years, four or five years. Um, so it's a big time commitment, but it's completely worth it. Everything that I do, I have so much fun being able to pass on my knowledge and instruct new people. Um, but it, it's really important to be dedicated to what you do and to continue, continuously be learning. That's a big thing with being an instructor. Um, so always being in the mindset that you can always learn more is really important as well. Something I wanted to add is that a lot of people don't know how to get into aviation or it's a big learning barrier for them to understand like what we do and how to get into it. So really the first thing you should do is just look up flight schools online to get an idea. YouTube is a great help now because there's so many videos about everything that's going on. So just searching up flight instruction or flight training on YouTube and seeing what it's like. And then look up the Discovery Flight for flight schools in your area. Those are huge. Um, they're normally like 30 minutes to an hour and you're getting to fly the plane for the first time with the CFI and you get an idea of what's going on. So that's probably the biggest question I get asked is how do I get to do that? So